Hey guys, uh, you might be wondering if you just watched the video from a few days ago, I'm wearing the exact same shirt. And is it because this is my favorite shirt? Well, no. Well, yes, this used to be my favorite shirt. It's a dude, look at him. Used to be uh, used to be my favorite shirt. It's kind of raggedy now, got a lot of holes. I don't really wear it that much. But, so you might be wondering why I'm wearing the same shirt. And it's because I just recorded that other video that you watched a few days ago. I am out of town, as you guys know right now, no streams. And so I wanted to record a couple of videos for you guys to be able to watch while I'm gone so you don't all forget about me. It could happen, I don't know. You guys might forget about me and I'll just be totally irrelevant. And then what am I gonna do? I guess just die. Okay, that was morbid. Of course I'm not gonna die. You guys won't forget about me anyways, right? Right? The video today um, is just gonna be a look over my roster. Um, a lot of people, I get this question a lot about my roster and sometimes when people don't ask about my roster but they see it, they're really surprised by it and they're just like, whoa, you have so much. Um, and so we're just gonna look at it. Um, I've been playing for a long time and I really don't spend that much money. So, but I think that just because I've been playing for so long, people just, they don't know what to expect from a roster that's been playing for almost 600 days. So we're just gonna look at it and uh, yeah, see what you guys think. Uh, I hope you're impressed by my pixels. I just wanted to show you right away. So I've been playing for 597 days. When this video comes out, it'll be probably like 605, 606 when this comes out. So that's pretty cool. I'll get those 15 Hulk shards. I mean, I'm still not gonna be done with them, but we'll be pretty close. Yeah, I mean, we'll be at 263 at the time. So not too bad, not too shabby. But yeah, so, I wanted to show you guys that. I mean, my achievements are pretty impressive. I mean, I've almost spent 500 million gold. Where the heck did it go? I don't know, but it's gonna rain on my roster, apparently. So this is what? A 597 day, 494,332,224 gold spent roster looks like. Let's do it. So, uh, you guys can see my top line there. That's characters that I'm just farming and working on right now. Koye, obviously, for the old uh, Wakanda squad. I just put orange ability mats on her, and uh, just FYI, they're still not very good. So now I have about 1,200 orange mats on that team, and it all still sucks. So just saying, rework Wakanda. Can I get an amen in the comments to that one? Better be at least one amen in the comments or I'm gonna be forced to comment amen to my own video. You don't want me to do that, chat. That would just be sad. I just called you chat. I'm streaming too much. You know what I'm saying. So we got a hand assassin for the Phoenix event. I anticipate having her done, then that will let me get seven star Phoenix. Um, that's pretty exciting. I think that'll be lit. I'm ready to go on that one. So shocker, of course, doing him for Invisible Woman. I don't know if we're quite gonna get there. I don't wanna spend money, but I may have to because all the other characters will be up and I gotta get Invisible Woman. If I don't get Invisible Woman, what am I doing? You know what I mean? So uh, Wasp, just cause she's on a hero node and then Aim Assaulter, just cause he's on a villain node or vice versa, I honestly don't remember. But that's why I'm doing them because I need a hero and a villain node for the achievement. Simple enough. So rolling on down here, we've got seven red star shield trooper. I think I mistakenly said in my last video that I had a seven red star Mordo, but that's just a six red star Mordo. So he's a uh, tier 12, just with the one piece missing. You need one more shield crate, whatever unique for that. Uh, you know, tier 13, uh, tier 13, uh, 12, just waiting on uniques, 13, you know, uh, He's at 12, I could take him if I could get this stuff, but I haven't really stressed about it too much because I don't really care. Um, he's at 11, I think, um, but all the red stars and stuff, you know what I mean? So overall, you can see um, there are some interesting parts of my roster. I powered up Iron Man because I got all the red stars. I like Iron Man. I got him first time back in the day. Uh, well, not in the beta, I'm sorry. Nobody knew about the event. The event just came out one day. It was just in the game one day, and it was just like, recruit Iron Man with shield characters, and the game had been out for like two weeks, and it was like, what? So I didn't get him that time, but then the second time around in the beta, I unlocked him. So I've had him for a really long time. He's one of my favorite characters, so I just powered him up. You know, sometimes you just gotta power up characters that you like because you like them, you know what I mean? Phoenix, I mean, she's amazing. I love Phoenix. Uh, of course, our old pal, Nicholas Furious. Yondu, Yondu was my favorite, favorite character in the game. When I first came out, he was just so awesome. He could, you know, dispel on his basic. He'd do the big damage AOE and he could summon minions. Uh, summoning used to be super OP back in the day. I don't know if you guys know that. Um, if you're a newer player, you definitely don't know that, but summoning was the way to go. You just loaded your team up with characters that summoned and you would just win. I don't know why, but it was true. So like Yondu, Kingpin, 
uh, Loki wasn't in the game back then, but uh, Nobu, like it was crazy. Moving on, got our old pal Ultron, Iron Fist, Spider-Man, Black Panther, and Baku. Just kind of standard. He is almost at tier 13. I thought about investing in him, but tier 12, he's already so squishy. And I know that stats don't really boost that much getting to tier 13, because that's more of just like a bottleneck for Fear the Darkness. But yeah, so he's really squishy. Mine doesn't dodge that much, so I wasn't super wanting to go any further with him. Uh, Juggernaut Groot, you know, kind of standard. These are like, you can see, because these are just like characters that are like more in the meta teams uh, for the most part. Obviously, other than Yondu, that dude is not anything. But he's awesome, so that's what counts. The rest of these, I mean, Wakanda, Spider-Verse, Defenders, you know, Brotherhood, Guardians, you know, so on and so forth. Night Nurse, I don't know if you guys remember back in the day, Night Nurse was the best healer. You would take her into the raid with any team and she would keep you alive. That's much different than the way that things are now. But just imagine before Minerva, you had Night Nurse. Um, and then they introduced red stars which kind of effed up night nurse and it just kind of messed everything up but yeah so she's really really good um or she used to be she's not really very good now i mean i have her five red stars if i had her at like tier 12 or tier 13 uh she might still be a little bit relevant but i didn't really stress about it because we have minerva so didn't need it overall you know we got minerva shield security uh carnage i took him to tier 13 carnage is my favorite character if you guys haven't been around the channel very long uh, you didn't see any of my Carnage videos. Like when I unlocked him, I made like a couple videos about him because I just love Carnage. That's my favorite villain in the MCU. So I did that. That was pretty fun. Um, he's all right. <laughs> he's super all right. Um, I recently finished Black Widow to seven star like a couple weeks ago. And so you remember 597 days of free to play. That's how long it took me. I mean, it was probably like 590 ish. And that's how long it took me to seven star Black Widow. She was farmable in the beta. I don't know if you guys knew that, but she had like two nodes in the beta, but I don't know, like you don't think they were going to yoink her, you know what I mean? Um, and then they did. So <laughs> I should have farmed her more. Um, you know, classic defenders, rocket. I need to power up rocket more. I just haven't. I don't know why. Uh, hand sentry used to be awesome for arena. Every team had him. Um, which is pretty funny. Uh, pretty much every team had Kingpin for a little while. That was pretty fun. Uh, Quake used to be amazing too. And it's just like, I mean, a lot of these characters that I have that are decently strong, I've either gotten red stars on them, they're currently meta, or they used to just be really strong. So it's pretty fun though. I like looking through this. It kind of like takes me back to like the simpler days when I used to use these different teams. Like Hawkeye I used to use in Arena because of his uh, dispels. They were amazing. Uh, Doctor Strange, I remember uh, when Doctor Strange came out, I blitzed, I came, I was like 97 uh, for him on blitz, and you guys wonder how many points I had, I am not making this up, I had 850,000, those were the old days, now adjusted for inflation, I don't really know, because I could get that many points way faster now, because I have so many more teams to use, at the time I didn't have as many teams to use, also blitz was only every six hours instead of every two hours, um, so I don't really know. Maybe I was actually probably playing a lot more then just because I wanted him. But I always think it's hilarious to say I came in top 100 for Doctor Strange and I only had 850,000 points. Did the same thing for Vision when Vision first came out because they came, they were one after the other. It was Doctor Strange Blitz, Vision Blitz, Doctor Strange Blitz, Vision Blitz. And so I remember like placing top 100 in one of them and then like I think top 500 in the other ones. And so then that way I could unlock them right away. So uh, it's different. Back in the day it was different. They had different rankings and everything. I liked it better before, but I think I'm just nostalgic. Going on, going on. You know, Hulk, maybe one day I'll finish him. I don't know about it. Electra, Yo, guys, Electra. Mm, mm. She used to be so good back in the beta. Her uh, ultimate ability, dude, you go one shot like everybody. Back in the beginning of the beta, every team had Electra. Is crazy because she was just so strong. And I know that's like hilarious. Like you guys are probably just like cracking up thinking about that. But just imagine that the biggest damage dealer back in the day was Electra. Pretty crazy, huh? And that's just because like her ult was the equivalent to Ultron's ult currently. Like you would just hit people and they're just dead. You just one shot them. It was amazing. Got my boy Ultimus here. I don't know why I invested in him really high because I thought it would be just funny. So, I mean, not really high, but I mean tier 11. Um, he's only level 60 though, so not a big deal, but I kind of want to take him to level 70, put him to, you know, tier 13, just because, why not? Apparently, they, they've said that they're going to rework him to be like uh, Ultron level, but I can't imagine that they will because a lot of people have him. Um, I think, maybe they don't, but I think it'd be cool. I really like him. His kit right now is a lot of fun. Um, it wouldn't take a lot for him to be really good. Um, maybe just a bit more speed would be really helpful, and um, if his ultimate would flip effects 
before he hits them. Um, Cause like he can annihilate like a Luke Cage. I don't know if you guys haven't seen it. If you haven't comment down below and I will send you guys a clip of him uh, using his alt on a Luke Cage that had I think 12 buffs and he just hits 12 times. He's just like, psh, 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 psh. it's pretty hilarious. One of the funnier things I've seen in the game. Mercenary Riot Guard, yo guys, that guy was the, that was the dude back in the day. Um, he just puts up, he would just put up defense up almost every turn, so very cool. A lot of people like Mercenary Lieutenant, I never really had a thing for him. A lot of people did though. My boy Thor, I didn't realize that Thor was bad back in the day, and so I used him in an Avengers team, but I didn't realize how bad he was when I first started playing, so I was farming him out of the store, and by the time I was at like, I think six star 250 or something, that's when I realized that he was bad, and so I stopped farming him, and I finished him off from the orbs that you get from the raid store, but I took him up, I guess, what is he at? Uh, tier 9, just because uh, his basic hit's pretty hard. He's just too slow, you know what I mean? It's funny. It's funny how stuff, like you remember some of this stuff looking back. So then we got, like, I thought Cable was going to be, like, the most amazing character ever because he had the turn meter manipulation, um, but obviously he didn't end up being very good. But I thought he had a lot of promise, like you pair him with Deadpool or something, but it obviously that that didn't happen. So he's pretty cool, though. I like him. I liked him from the movie a lot, too, so I, I didn't really level him up, though. I tried to hold on to my money at that point. So then we got all these minions. I um, <laughs> I made a mistake in which I leveled up all of my minions to either level 30, 40, or 50. Um, I thought that that would be great. Thought it was a good idea to do that and then take them all to, I think, yeah, tier five, um, which I regret. Um, I did it because back in the day when you were looking for an alliance, uh, the higher collection power you had, the more people would consider you for a higher alliance. And so I boosted this all up so I could get into a better one. And obviously now it doesn't work that way. You you know, if you have less collection power, but more focus, it's better. So yeah, I wish that I could take, I wish that all of these minions could be like level one, um, tier one, uh, kind of like what I have with uh, Thing and Psylocke here. Well, Psylocke's 20, but like with Thing, like level one, tier one, like. Wish I could take them all back down because then I would also have all the gold, which would be a couple million at least, even if it was just a little bit. Um, that's one thing I regret from my roster, but it's really not a huge regret, just like a decent sized one. I don't know. I just think about that sometimes. Uh, what could be? You know, what could be? What could have been? But I'm curious to know what you guys uh, just like about your rosters. This is just my thoughts on mine. Um, it's always interesting to kind of just look back and have a bit of nostalgia about it and just kind of be like, oh, yeah, I remember all this. You know, so I'm sure you're wondering why, like, thing, like, whatever, like, I might level them up later. I'm not, like, I think Fantastic Four is going to be awesome, but I'm going to wait and see if I get Invisible Woman first, and then if I can unlock the other characters first uh, before I put any resources into them. I've definitely become a lot more frugal with my investments, uh, trying to improve current teams over trying to build new ones if I can help it. That said, I love Sinister Six. That's why I've been building them, because they're so much fun. Um, Psylocke, I don't really care for Psylocke. I don't think she's very good. Um, so I just haven't done anything with her. Eventually, I'll probably level her up just to have a, a full X-Men team for Blitz. Um, but for now, I just kind of been leaving her where she's at. So, guys, I would love to hear your opinions on my roster. If you think that this is pretty good for 597 days, if you think that I'm a, a total noob, uh, let me know. But uh, don't hurt my feelings. I'm very fragile. I'm just kidding. But don't be too mean, okay? I take it to heart. Again. Well, kind of kidding. Don't be mean to me, but also make funny jokes, okay? That's all. So, pretty much, I mean, I hope that you guys enjoyed this. Um, this is definitely a lot different than the type of video I usually do. I never really put out videos like this because, I don't know, I don't know if you guys wanna see this. Like, if one of my favorite content creators put out a video like this, like, I would love to see this because I think that this is so interesting and it kind of like gives you guys an opportunity to see more of like what I'm doing. Um, so I, I hope that you guys like this. I hope it's fun for you. And uh, yeah, so if you guys want to see more stuff like this, just talking about my thoughts on the game, like let me know um, and we'll, we'll see. So let me know in the comments, guys. Make sure if you're not subscribed, please subscribe. We're almost to 3,000, which is a very exciting milestone for me because I never thought I would get more than 100 subscribers on this channel. Um, so yeah, uh, last thing, if you guys have been around for any amount of time recently, I've been talking about Twitch a lot. Um, the link is in the description below. Please follow on Twitch. We stream Monday through Friday, um, 6.30 p.m. Eastern time. It is so much fun. Um, I think that you guys would really love it if you love these videos, if you kind of like love the atmosphere and just kind of the chill and just kind of goofy sort of stuff. Uh, the interaction um, is off the charts. So I love chatting with you guys. I love getting to know you guys. So I would love 
to uh, include more of you in that. So in the meantime, guys, uh, again, thanks so much for watching, and uh, we'll see you uh, later.